Hello, Ami, everyone, and welcome to today's video. So here I am joined by my boyfriend and I's black cat, Boo. We just adopted him about a month ago, and he is currently laying on my lap, so I thought you could all meet him. Say hi, Boo. Hi. <laughs> he is very, very lovable black kitty. So today I'm going to be teaching you all about scripting. So for those of you who follow me on TikTok, I talk a lot about the power of intention. And I always say that when you write something down or you say your goal out loud, it is 10 times more likely to happen. And there's so much power and scientific evidence behind intention. So I'm gonna teach you all about doing this today, how you can manifest any of your desires and goals and spilling all the information and tea on this topic because I feel as though a lot of people will talk about scripting, they'll talk about intention setting, but they don't actually show you how to do it. So I'm gonna break it down, show you step-by-step step how I do it, and I hope you enjoy. For those of you who are new here, hello, Ani, my name is Grace, I am an indigenous Ojibwe business and mindset coach. If you're from TikTok, I talk all about manifestation and spirituality, and I talk about decolonizing the spiritual industry and yeah, creating inclusive and diverse businesses. I'm from Swan Lake First Nation, Treaty One Territory, and I, this is a new feature. I am now doing 30 minute coaching sessions with me. I get a lot and a lot of messages about manifestation. So this is your opportunity to ask me anything and have a full unlimited 30 minute Q&A session with me. So be sure to go and check it out. The prices will be going up next month. They are on a special right now, and I will put that link below in my bio. So thank you so much, everyone, and please enjoy today's video. Okay, so when I am preparing for scripting, you don't need to have an entire space set up, but I actually have an entire altar space where I do my intention setting and my scripting. So I can do a whole other video on how to set up a spiritual altar. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments below. But I just wanted to share some things that I do to help me prepare. So if you just get a little bit closer, I love to have a really cute journal, a pen. I got this actually trick-or-treating with my niece and nephew yesterday. And I like to set up some nice crystals in my space. So some really powerful crystals to have near you are citrine for abundance, rose quartz for love and self-love, amethyst for following your intuition. So you can see I have all of those there. And I usually like to just light some candles, some incense. I also like to have some plants near me. And I also find it's nice to just diffuse some essential oils as well during this practice. So let's go ahead and let's dive right into it. All right, so the first thing that I do is I dedicate an entire journal to all of my manifestations and desires that I'm manifesting. So in that very first page, I write down my intentions and I write down, Dear Universe, this journal is for all of my manifestations, gratitude, and goals. Everything I write in this journal, I trust you will bring into my life or something better will come my way. And then I write, thank you, thank you, thank you three times. And then sign with your name. So I put love grace because that is my name. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to charge this journal with positive energies, positive affirmations. And we're gonna essentially create an entire gratitude altar for our money to bring in more abundance, more money, and more love and energy our way. All right, so next you can see I have this jar with all my intentions, my money in it. So I actually taped some money right into that first page of my journal. And in Canada, we have plastic money, so this will not ruin the money. If you are in the States, you do not have to tape your money down. In fact, I would make a paper pocket here and then just put the money in the pocket so that you can see it, you can feel it in your hands, you can touch it. And essentially what this does is it familiarizes yourself with the money. The more you see the money, the more you feel the money, the more you energetically align yourself with that money, the easier it's gonna be to manifest that money into your life. And the reason being is because you are no longer holding that money up on a pedestal. You're seeing it all the time. You're gonna manifest more of it because like attracts like. And if you're constantly surrounding yourself with this money, this abundance, you're seeing it all the time, you're sending that energy to the universe that you are abundant and you wanna attract more of this money. 
So every time you see this money, you're just gonna reaffirm to yourself, there's more where that came right. from. So next I just put a bunch of affirmations around the money. So my next paid and full client is on their way to me if you have a business. If not, these other affirmations are still very relevant and you can use them in the front of your manifestation journal as well. So you can put, I don't chase, I attract, what belongs to me will simply find me. I am blessed by the universe, creator, God, whatever higher power you believe in. I love money and money loves me. And I just put some stickers around there and some hearts as well. So this does not have to be fancy. Even if you don't have money, you can even just put some positive affirmations in here. Make sure you put this intention right there and you can dress it up with some stickers, but if not, completely okay. It is all about the intention that you're putting into this. So it does not have to be fancy, just as long as you are charging your journal with positive energies, positive manifestations, and just be sure to have fun with it. And if you do this exercise, tag me on Instagram and TikTok at Gracie Swain, G-R-A-C-E-C-S-W-A-I-N. I would love to see them and tag you and put it on my story as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is write out 10 things that you are grateful for. So you can see here, I put I'm grateful for our house, my cat, spending time with my family, guidance from my elders, Halloween candy because it was Halloween yesterday, my business, my friends, my followers. So all of you incredible souls who are following me and supporting my journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The internet and for being able to spread my message and knowledge with all the world and my eyes. So there is always something to be grateful for everyone. So whether that's writing down that you have a roof over your head, that you have water that you can drink, that you can take a shower. Maybe you're thankful for your body, your eyes, your hair, your legs, your arms, whatever it may be, even the simplest things, the sun, the stars, the moon, trees, air, anything you can think of, just write it down and really feel that deep gratitude. Gratitude is the quickest way to step into that high vibration. It speeds up your manifestations. So when in doubt, write down what you're grateful All for. All right, so next you are going to intention set. So you're gonna write it as if it has already happened. So this is the scripting. So I usually script for the next week, month, and year, and I do this once every week, but every day I gratitude journal and every day I script for the next month. So really making sure that you're setting those intentions, but you can do this as often as you would like. So I write down, I am so happy and excited because it is, so insert the date that is one week from now. So today it is November 1st, so I'm writing down November 8th and I have called in. So here are just a few examples. You can write down YouTube subscribers, a brand collaboration, more confidence in yourself, clear skin, um, a new friendship, an old friend calling you, an unexpected gift card, unexpected $100 coming to you. Whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life, just make sure that you're writing out something that, you know, pushes your goals a little bit, but that still reasonably you believe you can manifest. You don't want to be putting in here winning $1 million in the lottery if you don't truly believe in your heart that you will manifest that. So just write it out here and then we're going to repeat this for the next month and for the next year. All right, so here you can see that I have intention set for the next week and now this is for the next month. So today is November 1st, 2021. So I'm writing down December 1st, 2021 and acting as if it has already happened. And something that is so key is that you need to feel the emotion as if it has already happened, everyone. What I also want you to do is get really clear and specific on what your goals are. The majority of people are specific manifestors, so including in all the details is very crucial to achieve your manifestations. But if you are a non-specific manifester, you can still do this, but there are so many different ways non-specific manifestors manifest things. And if you want a whole video on that as a non-specific manifester, I would be more than happy to do that. But if you go to jovianarchive.com, you can actually find out if you are a specific 
or non-specific manifester. And if you're interested in hearing more about that, we can chat more about that as well. So here you can see that I'm just repeating the exact same process. I'm writing down, I'm so happy and excited because it is December 1st, 2021 and I have called in. So you wanna get super clear. So if you're calling in a one-on-one -on -one client, let's say for your business, what kind of client is it? Are they excited to work with you? Are they gonna be a paid in full client? What day are they going to sign up by? What is their personality like? You wanna get very clear on what it is you are calling in. So if you're calling in $100, do you want it to be unexpected money? Do you want it to be in your debit account? Do you want it to be in your PayPal account? By what timeline do you wanna have it by? So you gotta be really clear about these goals. So we're gonna repeat this process one more time for the next year. All right, so next I've set my intention, repeating the same process for the next year. So writing down, I am so happy and excited because it is November 1st, 2022. So putting it as the date a year from now, and I have called in amazing friends. So again, this is just an example, but you wanna get more specific than this. So writing down exactly where that 20K months is coming from, writing out how, what features you want in those friends. How do you want them to treat you? What do you want them to look like? And then what I want you to do is write down how you're going to celebrate once you've achieved all these manifestations. So you can do this for each individual one, but I usually do it at the end and I write down, I celebrated with a bottle of sparkling water, charcuterie, chocolate, a party. Maybe you're going to celebrate with a road trip, whatever it is and how you're going to celebrate. Act as if you're already celebrating it and write it out right here. I want you again to feel that emotion, feel as though it has already happened and is in your hands right all now. All right. Next, I want you to write for the good of all and harm to no one. And the reason you want to write this is because things will manifest to you in very unexpected ways. So let's say, for example, you write down an unexpected $100 in my bank account. You really want to make sure you write this because I've heard stories of people manifesting that money. Maybe it was because they maybe their car got hit by someone and then the insurance claim on it was $100. So not necessarily the best way you want it to manifest that $100, right? So please be sure to write down for the good of all and harm to no one. So you're clearly putting that intention out into the universe. Now what I do is I just like to write out a few affirmations that resonate with all the intentions and scripting that I've set. So you can write down unexpected money always flows to me. Everything I touch turns to gold. I'm constantly thinking a million dollar ideas. But again, this is all related to money. So let's say you're manifesting love or a relationship or friendships, then you can write down specific goals that correlate with that. Now I'm going to leave in the comments a list of all my favorite affirmations that you can get for free. So I'll put that in the description. So be sure to go and check that out if you want a list of affirmations. All my favorite affirmations, it's a hundred affirmations you can use in journal prompts. So if you would like that, be sure to go check it out. It's completely free. Then you're gonna write down, thank you, thank you, thank you three times and sign it with your name. So just a quick recap, if you're starting an entirely new journal, just make sure you charge the journal with good intentions. And then every day or every week, how often you want to do this, write down 10 things you're grateful for, intention set for the week, month, and year. Write down for the good of all and harm to no one, some affirmations, sign it, thank you, thank you, thank you in your name. And you're all set and ready to go. And if you want a quicker version of this, you can even just, you know, go straight to the intention setting for the next week or month or year, and then just sign it thank you three times in your name. Whatever resonates with you and whatever feels best for you. So there you have it. That's how to script and manifest all of your desires. So thank you so much, everyone. Shima Gwech. If you found this video helpful, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I hope you found it super helpful. If you would like a video on specific and non-specific manifestors or creating your own spiritual altar, let me know. I'm always looking for new content ideas to create for all of you. And I also want to let you know that you can now book 30 minute one-on-one -on -one intensives with me where you can ask me any of your manifestations, questions, and I'll give you all the answers. So if you're interested in that, I'll also put the link for that in the description. So thank you so much, everyone. Be sure to like, comment, and most important, subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I put out new videos every week. Thank you so much, everyone, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.